happy Thanksgiving, beloved Park family. I hope that you are having a day that remembers and reflects and celebrates all that you are and all that made you who you are. I wanted to bring a little um, worshipful time to our day together. Um, and so this is just a little bit of a meditation. There'll be some prayer. It is a space of communion because as I thought about what um, traditionally happens on Thanksgiving and, um, and what happens for us every single Sunday as we gather, I thought about all the ways in which we feed each other. And so um, using the First Nation translation of the New Testament, or the First Nation version of the New Testament, um, I'm going to read some um, prayers, some scripture, um, and then we will have a time of communion together. So the first thing that I want to share with all of you is how this First Nation uh, translation of the Bible came to be. As I uh, shared last Sunday, 25 different um, indigenous and tribal uh, nations came together to make this possible. And their understanding and their hope for it is that it's a contextual approach adhering to using English word choices and idiomatic phrases that are culturally relevant with an effort to refrain from a stereotypically or culturally degrading simplicity. And I thought that that was a really nice way of helping us understand some of the language uh, choices that were made for this translation as they vary a little bit from um, the translations that we may have grown up with or use in our own faith development and faith lives, um, but are beautiful and holy and true nonetheless. And so, um, the First Nation uh, version was also created, um, as uh, the authors and the editors say, um, the FNV is for all the churches, and it is especially for those involved in contextual ministry with Native North Americans. And so just as we hold our time together um, in our faithfulness and love, I just want to make sure that we um, we know that this is for all Christians and we are using it in that good faith, but we are um, hoping and um, doing our best to not appropriate any of this language or hold space or take things that aren't ours. Um, one of the things that I did this morning and I invite you all to do as well um, is to go to native-land.ca. It tells you whose land that you currently are on. You can type in your address or uh, spaces that you grew up. Um, the park um, and Manhattan in New York City is on um, Wappinger and Lenape land. And so we hold uh, that and recognize the rightful owners of this land today. So one of the things um, that I have been doing for um, Indigenous Peoples Month is I have been reading through this New Testament and it's really been beautiful. And as I thought about what continues to bring us together during the holidays um, and all the many people that we meet in our lives and our faith and our family and our, our roads to, to wherever, on the, on the good road, as you will see here, um, I wanted to bring this scripture uh, to our attention. Um, and it should be familiar, but uh, know that uh, the new language um, is... I hope it inspires you. I hope it brings uh, to fruition and into your hearts and minds all the many people that have made you who you are. So here are these words from Matthew 5. When Creator sets free, Jesus saw this great crowd. He went back up into the mountainside and sat down to teach the people. His followers came to him there, so he took a deep breath. opened his mouth and began to share his wisdom. And he shared it with them and to teach them how to see creator's good road. Creator's blessings rest on the poor, the ones with broken spirits. The good road from above is theirs to walk. Creator's blessing rests on the ones who walk a trail of tears, for he will wipe the tears from their eyes and comfort them. 
Creator's blessing rests on the ones who walk softly and in a humble manner. The earth, land, and sky will welcome them and always be their home. Creator's blessing rests on the ones who hunger and thirst for wrongs to be made right. Again, they will eat and drink until they are full. Creator's blessings rest on the ones who are merciful and kind to others. Their kindness will uh, find its way back to them. Creator's blessings rest on the pure of heart. They are the ones who will see the great spirit. Creator's blessings rest on the ones who make peace. It will be said of them, they are the children of the great spirit. Creator's blessings rest on the ones who are hunted down and mistreated for doing what is right. For they are walking the good road from above. May all that continue to walk the good road with us and for us be honored and named in this space and in this time. The opening of the New Testament kind of offers a, uh, a little bit of a prayer in this First Nation version. Um, it's their dedication page. And so for a little bit of our message and our time here together before we gather for communion, um, and if you have not grabbed your things already, uh, I invite you to do so. But it says, this translation of the good story is dedicated to the indigenous peoples of Turtle Island, North America, the tribal nations that call this land home. We pray the First Nations version will bring healing to those who have suffered under the dominance of colonial governments who, with the help of churches and missionary organizations, often took our land, our languages, our cultures, and even our children. As our tribal nations work hard to reclaim what has been stolen, it is our hope that the colonial language that was forced upon us on us can now serve our people in a good way by presenting creator sets free Jesus in a more culturally relevant context. May our time together, may that be so. And so friends, I'm gonna light a candle here for us. There we go. And if you have a candle, I invite you to light it as well. Reminding us that we are one in the spirit, one in the light, one in the flame, one in that keeps us warm, um, one in the vision carrying uh, ways of creator sets free. And to just continue to let it burn until the end of our time together. And so, Again, I am using um, from, I'm only using our First Nation version for all of our scripture today, just so you know. But from First Corinthians, it's called the Ceremonial Meal of the Chosen One. This, this is the sacred tradition that came from our honored chief. A tradition that I have received and passed on to you. On the night that creator sets free, Jesus, our honored chief, was betrayed. He took some fry bread. He then gave thanks to the great spirit. He broke it, gave thanks to the great spirit, broke the fry bread into pieces and said, this is my body broken for you. Eat it to remember me. And in that same manner, when the evening meal was over, he took the cup of wine, gave thanks to the great spirit and said, this cup represents the new peace treaty brought into being at the cost of my lifeblood, 
whenever you drink this cup, drink it to remember me. For until our honored chief returns, each time you ceremonially eat from this fry bread and drink from this cup, you are retelling the story of his death and its full meaning and purpose. May we eat of this feast together on this day of remembrance and thanksgiving. And friends, when we generally um, have communion together each Sunday, we say the Lord's Prayer together. And so I invite you to say the Lord's Prayer in the language and the words that are most on your heart or resonate most on your heart. As I read the Lord's Prayer from the First Nation version, let us pray. O oh, great spirit, our father from above, we honor your name as sacred and holy. Bring your good road to us where the beauty of your ways in the spirit world above is reflected in the earth below. Provide for us day by day, the elk, the buffalo, and the salmon, the corn, the squash, and the wild rice all things we need for each day. Release us from the things we have done wrong in the same way we release others for the things done wrong to us. Guide us away from the things that tempt us to stray from your good road and set us free from the evil one and his worthless way. Aho, may it be so. Friends, on this Thanksgiving, I give thanks for you and all that made you possible for our community and all that made it possible and all that continues to make us possible. I hope you have a wonderful day and I give thanks for each and every one of you in the land uh, and those that came before us. Have a good one, friends.